So you wanna make $10,000 every single month. Now you probably watch hundreds of videos explaining the different methods that are out there, but no one's actually ever told you the real truth. My name's Liam, I've made some pretty good wins online when it comes to online business, and I've also made some massive failures as well. But currently right now, my focus is building my AI automation agency that's currently generating me five figures every single month. Now I have no fancy education, my parents weren't rich, so there weren't any trust funds, and I also don't have any special powers. But what I do have is a very similar drive to you who is watching this video where you want to become successful you want to look after your family and your friends and you want to be able to make money online and travel the world where you don't have to worry about what you're spending so look i want to show you the real path to ten thousand dollars every single month that is not talked about on youtube now firstly i need to ask you a question what is money to you? But before you answer that, I can probably actually guess already what money is to you. Because if you're like me, then money was this scarce resource that was hard to make. And at the same time, the answer to everybody's problems. Now, I never had it when I was younger. And in my family home, I heard it brought up in more arguments than I cared to think about. So to me, money was this magical thing that the entire world revolved around. And if you didn't have any of it, then your life was pretty much a misery. Now, most of you probably put money on a pedestal and it's above everything else. This is how I viewed it and it's how 95% of the world views money as well. So don't feel bad if this is you right now. And I can guarantee that almost every single one of you has said to yourself, if I made $10,000 every single month and your brain starts running away with the different ideas of what you would do with that money. Off of the back of that question, it probably then led you down the dark hole of YouTube, leaving you even more confused as to how you could make it happen. Even I'm to blame for this one. Now, most of you are probably starting an online business. Maybe it's an agency. Maybe it's becoming a professional day trader or an e-commerce owner. They're really is no wrong or right options here. There is a path to making 10K every single month inside of all these different niches. But the real problem is, as good as YouTube is for getting you direct access to this information and these different experts in their field, it also becomes a minefield of confusion for most people. It certainly was for me when I was first getting started. And that's because everyone is showing you the methods, but no one's actually talking about the work involved in getting there. And that is the key ingredient to all of this. So look, I wanna show you the steps between everything that make making 10K every single month a reality. So I've got a really simple four-step formula that I want to walk you through today that I've followed every single time I've started something new online. So number one is value. Are you actually providing value to someone? Now, I know this may sound super obvious, but trust me, it's overlooked a lot of the time. You really have to think, is the product that you're selling or the service that you're offering actually valuable and good? Because if it's not, then it's just a shit idea and you probably shouldn't do it. Number two, we have time. Now, I hear this all of the time. Liam, I just don't have the time to invest into building something because I work full time. And it's absolute rubbish. Let's say your average day involves you traveling to work for two hours. Maybe you're working at that full-time job for seven hours. Maybe you're exercising for one hour a day, which I highly doubt a lot of the people in the world are. And then you're eating for one of those hours. Maybe you're chilling out on the sofa for an hour and then you're sleeping for seven hours. That brings you to 19 hours in total that you have accounted for in your day. The truth is most of you probably work from home now, which completely removes the work travel side of things. And let's face it, pretty much the full-time job aspect of it as well is written off if you're working from home too. But if we stick to these 19 hours, that actually leaves you with five hours every single day. Now, what you do with those five hours is completely up to you. But most people would probably sit there burning them watching TikTok or Netflix. Some people may even choose to melt their brains by watching motivational content about how to make money online, hoping that that is what is gonna drive them towards their financial goals. But if you wanna make 10K per month, then you're actually gonna to need to get smart with these five hours. And as long as you're planning, learning, and most importantly, taking what you actually learn and executing on it, then you are doing something right. Now, if you think five hours isn't a lot of time, over the year, that's 1,825 hours, which is 76 full 24-hour days. Like, imagine you didn't sleep. You could sit there straight for 76 days working or learning or building your own thing. It's also 912 days of two-hour work sprints, which is roughly three years if we lose the weekend. So you honestly can't sit there and tell me that you couldn't make something work if you gave yourself two hours every single day for the next three years. Now, number three, is your mindset. So are you actually mentally ready to make 10K per month? Now, let me explain this. Someone who's not ready likely thinks that it's incredibly easy to make 10K and they probably have no set path. They likely lack the skills and they have their values and core beliefs misaligned and they 100% of the time lack focus. Now, on the other hand, those that are ready understand the work that's involved. They have a very clear plan and they can stick to it. They focus on learning and getting better every single day. They have strict personal discipline and values and they have an ability to focus on a task 
over and over again. Now, most people, when they start thinking about making $10,000 per month, they picture themselves in a Lambo rocking a mad watch that costs more than the family home. And although these motivators are okay to have, they only last so long. And in my experience, the progress and the education you receive is the real value you get from entrepreneurship. Every single one of you should be striving to be the best version of yourself. And if you become that person, then money is a byproduct of that transformation. Now, some gurus are going to tell you that it's all about the routine. And I mostly think this is crap, but there is some truth to it. The habits that you perform every single day will end up dictating how much money you make every single month. So for example, if you wake up at 11 a.m. every day, you sit on TikTok in bed, you eat crap food, you lack any self-care or personal hygiene, you find yourself watching 20 YouTube videos a day about about how to make money only to then leave the house and hang around with loser friends that are all carelessly wandering through life without any clear life goals, then you're in trouble. Maybe you then come back home, you watch more TikToks, you eat more shit food, and you have this chaotic bedtime routine. Well, if that's you, you really do need help and 10K per month isn't anywhere near close for you. But on the other hand, this is what you could be doing to give you a chance of seeing 10K per month hitting your bank account. You wake up at the same time every morning, maybe you do some form of exercise to get the blood pumping. This could literally just be walking to grab your morning coffee every morning. But then your main focus is fueling your body with healthier food you look after yourself, keeping yourself presentable, clean. You can still go on YouTube to learn, but you have to be selective of the content that you're consuming and actually apply it to the business that you're trying to build. Maybe you can also have set days where you allow yourself to hang out with your friends and detach from your main goals. But otherwise, you focus on working hard and before your set bedtime that gives you six to eight hours of sleep every night, you plan your next day and leave it on your desk ready for when you wake up. So that sounds pretty productive, right? Imagine what you could get done if that was your routine. Now, the reality is not every day is gonna look the same. And honestly, I'm not precious about my routine as long as I get the important shit done. So I think it'd be beneficial for you guys to see my average day and I do around $50,000 every single month. So I wake up between six and seven, depending on what time I went to bed. I then go straight to my desk where I start work. Now, the best part about waking up early is having at least two hours of uninterrupted work. There's no calls, there's no girlfriend, it's quiet, and it gives me the time that I need to focus. Now, I then get showered, I get dressed, I usually just get dressed in gym clothes, I'll then eat my breakfast, and then I'll jump on a few calls with team members and handle some admin inside of the agency. I'll then eat some lunch whilst watching YouTube, researching other channels, and then I usually end up working until about 5 p.m., where I'll then either go for a run or I'll go to the gym. If I'm feeling super lazy that day, I'll actually just do both just to punish myself. And I'll then come home, I'll work a bit longer if I can be bothered, and then I'll get to bed between 11 to 12 p.m., ready to attack the next day. Do you notice how I don't hold myself ransom to some crazy routine that just is isn't sustainable. I think that is the key. So number four is, do you have the drive? Are you actually hungry enough to make 10K every single month? Now, most people assume that you need to just want it enough to make it work, but that's only partly true in my experience. You actually need to have a really clear why. Without understanding your why, maybe you're just doing it for the money. Maybe you want nice cars, you want a nice watch. Maybe you want some dumb blonde girlfriend who's a 12 out of 10, but can barely spell her own name, which is okay, but in my opinion, it's not enough. So for most of you, you probably have a huge driving force behind Behind you so you can actually provide for your family. You can buy your mom that new car. You have time freedom to travel and go on holiday whenever and wherever you want without money getting in the way. And more importantly, you want fulfillment. As humans, being fulfilled in what we do every single day is the true key to unlocking happiness. So with that formula, a valuable offer times the amount of times you want to invest into it, plus a solid mindset, plus a crazy drive to actually make it work is the answer to 10K per month. Now this formula doesn't actually mean anything, but it looks kind of cool on the screen. But look, as promised, I actually want to show you the practical path of getting to 10K per month as well. So these next few slides will be breaking down exactly that. So number one, we wanna look at traffic. Now, every single business needs traffic. You need people to be able to see the product or the service that you're offering. And there is so many different ways that you can generate traffic. You have organic traffic, you have paid traffic, and you also have referred traffic. Now, organic traffic comes from the content that you post online, on Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, in Discord channels, Twitter, YouTube, just about anywhere that you can provide value to people and introduce them to the service that you're offering. Paid traffic is gonna mainly come from Facebook and Instagram ads, Google ads, just any paid ads pretty much. You know, you even have Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn. All of these different platforms are different, but the formula is the same. Money in equals money out 
but only if your offer is actually good enough. And then lastly, referrals are just the byproduct of giving value to your clients. Next up, we have our offer. So what are we actually going to offer people? Well, with the agency model, you have a ton of different options. You could be bringing AI services to businesses, which is what my agency does. You could be running paid ads for companies, helping them with content creation. Maybe you're managing their email marketing campaigns, or perhaps you're a little bit more broad and focus on generating leads specifically for B2B businesses. Whatever it is, understanding what you're offering and who that offer is valuable to is the golden rule here. It gives you that framework for everything that you do in of your agency on that point up next is fixing pain so what are the pain points that your clients have how do you fix them and how much does it cost your client to get them fixed so this is pretty simple you start with a question what do you fix so do you bring new leads in for med spas do you automate customer service for builders and whatever it is it doesn't matter as long as there is a business with these pain points. So if you bring in more leads for med spas, you're obviously going to be focused on med spas. And if you help builders with chatbots, then you're obviously going to laser focus on working with builders. You then have to understand how to actually fix those pain points. Now, are you running ads or email campaigns to generate these new leads for these businesses? Or are you building smart chatbots that replace customer service agents? Now, once you know what to fix, who you fix it for and how you do it, then you can move on to the next step, which is delivering the service. Now, now you are building an agency. You're not a freelancer. And this means that it's okay to hire in a team to do the delivery for you. Obviously, it's always best if you can actually understand how to deliver yourself. And I do recommend that you do that so that you can hold your own on a sales call when you're speaking to different clients. But in order for you to scale over 10K per month, guess what? You're actually going to need to pay people for their time because you're gonna run out of your own time and that is okay. So lastly, we have repeat. Now you drive traffic to a well thought out offer that fixes a pain point for your client. You then deliver that work and the cycle repeats itself. Now that path was probably way simpler than you thought it was gonna be. And that's because it is simple. And your next question is probably gonna be, Liam, how long is this all gonna take? Unfortunately, nobody has the answer to this question. It could take you one month, it could take you 24 months. I'd say if it took you any more than 24 months, then you're probably doing something wrong and you're most likely not putting in enough hours. I honestly wish I had a calculator for this that showed you exactly how long it would take you to start making 10k per month. But you do have to remember that every single one of you, including myself, will all have a different journey. You'll be from different countries, you'll be different ages, you'll have different responsibilities in day-to-day -day life and you'll have different work ethics. Some of you are just going to want it more than others. It's as simple as that. So here's what my first few years of online business looked like. Now I had a massive win in dropshipping where I made like 40k in the first few months then it went something like this i think most people assume that once you hit that 10k per month mark it's all up from there and it's really not most of the time you have more challenges as you make more money and you need a bigger team market conditions change and there's just so many variables that it's really unlikely that you'll get it right the first time around but what this does allow you to do is it allows you to break down that mental barrier of making 10k per month and it actually becomes real for you here's another example this was an econ product that i launched the first year we did over 2.5 million dollars and the next year we did like 50k because the market was saturated and i didn't have the skills to take it further and that is just me being truthful now although the second year was a flop i had just made two and a half million so i have proof of concept of pretty much everything that i'd been learning for the previous four years leading up to that moment. I honestly learned so much within that business. I gained confidence in my abilities. I broke mental barriers. At one point I was making 250K every single month. My previous goal was 10K per month. I also learned new skills. I had a clearer path on what I wanted to work on. And I also now had the funds to actually scale new businesses that I wanted to start. So even after it all started falling apart, I got a taste of reality from running a business. I got to see trend cycles and I got to understand them. And I also got the opportunity to move into fresh ideas that I've never tried out before. I also had time to reflect on what went well and what didn't. But most importantly, I now had the time to execute on whatever idea I had moving forward. And I could trust that I knew the process. So look, this is what I need you to focus on for the next 12 months. Now, everything in these next few slides are here because they are part of your 10k per month equation. You need to become a consistent motherfucker who has a clear plan, clear goals, and then confidence to actually execute them. You need to educate yourself every single day, keep getting better. And at the end of the year, yeah look back and see how you've evolved into someone completely different compared to the old you 12 months ago. You need to focus on your health, 
You need to get inside of the gym, put in the work, because this is gonna instill discipline into your life, which is all translatable when it comes to making money. Without discipline, you're going to be a mess and everything is gonna start falling apart whenever it gets hard. You need to be conscious of how you think, be conscious of what you tell yourself. Like I said, 10K in the grand scheme of things really isn't much, but in the online business space, it's this huge mental barrier that you will eventually hit, providing you do take action from this video. The goal is to keep getting better and better every single month. You should zoom out, stop thinking in weeks and start thinking in years. Honestly, ask yourself, what is the rush? Wouldn't you rather be prepared when you actually do hit that 10K per month and know how to manage and scale it rather than hitting a lucky trend and crashing back to zero because you have no clue what you're doing. You should also pick one business and stick to it. And if you can't see yourself doing that business in 12 months time, then you probably shouldn't do it. Too many people jump ship and chase the shiny business models on YouTube. I did it when I first got started. It would just confuse you and leave you broke. And then once you've got your idea, you just start rolling the dice. Every single time that you try something, you put your name back in the hat to win. I have honestly failed hundreds of times. But out of all of those attempts, I've won a handful of times. And you only need a handful of wins to make millions, let alone 10K a month. So work on your idea every single day and analyze and track your results. If you've made it this far into the video, you are so close. I genuinely believe in every single one of you watching this video right now. I was in the same position that you're in a few years back. And now I get to provide for my family. I travel whenever and wherever I want. And I buy anything that I need or want in life without having to worry. Now, I'm still not driving around in the green Lamborghini, but I'm living comfortably. So look, what I want you to do is send this to a friend that needs to hear this advice too. A side quest for you should be to help as many people around you as possible. It's the main reason why I make these videos. But look, that is it for from me i want to hear from you in the comments let me know what your next steps are after watching this video you know what to do next and no the answer isn't going to watch another youtube video peace